Let's go, Scorpio. I'm doing this a little different. I went ahead and pulled your card, so it's not going to take so long. And let's get to your message. All right. Scorpios out there are kind of looking at their past and making changes. They're looking what their actions have gotten them and um, looking at the things that they didn't see coming that surprised them. And, of course, where they messed up and where others have messed up. And in the end, we have justice over here, which it means that no matter whether you brought the energy or you received the energy it's being seen and balanced. All right. So let's see what we got here. All right. The Eight of Pentacles is all about um, seeing what you've reaped from what you've sown. And uh, what you put into it. The value you put into it doesn't seem like it's turned out too well so far. Um, to have this Five of Pentacles here, but it seems like because of you doing some soul searching and examining your past, um, we're coming out of this Five of Pentacles energy or this idea of lack. Now, you've examined your past and the way that you've moved and what you've brought to the situation, which you've always felt like it was a solid, even-keeled, no-problem type energy, you know. You were bringing good stuff. Or you realize from your past that you're going to bring good stuff now. With this Eight of Swords upside down, I feel like you're going to move in more faith of the value of the things unseen. Because I feel like maybe you concentrated a lot on making that money, honey, honey. But it didn't really bring you fulfillment. And now you're making the change to look for happiness instead of ego fulfillment with this upside down king of wands. You know, it's been for a while, but hey, time to grow up. However, because of this upside down king of wands, I feel like that you had to transform because of this justice over here. It wasn't like you wanted to. Um, you had no other choice because the high priestess is here with this upside down wheel of fortune. You were stuck like Chuck. Yep, because you weren't moving in spirit, which is what this two of cups to me is about. And this high priestess, you made a pact with spirit before you came here. And it's not being honored. So spirit will stick you like Chuck with this justice. Sit you in the timeout chair over here. But it looks like that you're realizing all this and coming out of it. And you're, with this two of cups upright, you're seeing the value in bringing spirit into your life first. Because she ain't playing. Either that or this has been done to you and it drove you back to spirit because you got stuck like Chuck. That happens too. The energy is reversible. You know which side you're on. But justice showed up here. To take care of the false offers. 
and the lies, wherever they came from. No opportunities to be had until this change is made, until this energy is balanced. Either one way within you for the wrongs that's been done to you because you have spirit now and you put it in spirit's hands. Or because of the wrongs you've done, one or the other. Justice is here. You need to decide which side you're on because when we do things like this, this is what happens, see? What we do to others, we do to ourselves and what we allow done to ourselves, we do to spirit. And we're realizing that. And we're starting to move in different ways. Um, because when I see something like this, Spirit's also doing some tallying. What have you done for me lately? I put you on this earth to be my representative, not to fall under this spell. You should want me first. I'm the one who was there when you were born, and I am the only one that's going to be there all your life until you die. Do not turn your back on me. Because when we turn our back on spirit, this happens. The need for this happens. Which, sometimes the need for this happens anyway, because spirit works in mysterious ways. Sometimes we have to come into somebody's life to bring that goodness and love and honor so they could know it. Because if they don't know it, they can't pay for dishonoring it. Because once you know it, the true love of spirit, and you dishonor it, it's like spitting in God's eye. I wouldn't want to be that person. Okay, now we got the tiny tarot down here. With the king of wands. The ace of swords. The page of cups. And the queen of wands. Okay, so we have a d d divine pair. On this board. A very passionate divine pair who sees the truth all right somebody's balanced their passionate energy with truth and love and that's what needs to happen in this situation Scorpio um, if you want to walk to where you miss no spiritual opportunities you have to bring spirit in to give you the eyes to see the beauty and the truth of what is valuable. And that's what I am seeing in this spread for you. People are bringing spirit more and more into their life every day. They're getting the message. They're getting the true message. And they're bossing up. They're bossing up that love, that holy feminine. They're bringing the magic. If this is you, Scorpio, on this journey and you're realizing all this, congratulations. Because, sweetheart, we need you. We need everybody. The time is now. And with that being said... I think I'll end here and remember don't lie don't cheat don't steal and don't make a victim of the innocent even if that innocent lies within you I love you guys you got this